So you need to get better at shifting on the cello? You've come to the right place. In this video, we're going to talk about the components that go into a shift and why it's so vitally important that you be able to identify and analyze them all separately when you're practicing shifting. Coming up. Hi, my name is Clay, and well, if you're new here, think about subscribing so you don't miss out on any of the great content that we post here. We post tutorial videos like this one, performances, tutorials for music technology, all sorts of great stuff, so think about subscribing. Um, I'm going to confess, this is the third iteration of this video. I tried two other times to make it, and it was so long uh, that I decided to make a shortened version for you here. All right, so there are going to be two blog posts that go along with all of these shifting videos. I try to keep the uh, rule from all the great priests that I grew up with in preaching um, that anything over 10 minutes is probably wasted breath. Okay, so we're going to hold on to that rule, hopefully, here. Um, and I'm going to sum up. If you want to really deep dive into this, go to the blog. First, read the post on decisions. And there's also another post specifically about shifting with lots of great information and really breaking down what I'm going to say in this video, which is why you need to know these different components. Because, I mean, why have a separate video? How, there's three videos in this series here, this one, then there's one separately on decisiveness, and then the third one is about how to practice shifting. And by the way, stick around till the end of this video. I'm going to give you a resource uh, to help with the practicing in this big shift in the, in the Dvorak Hemoresque. But the main reason that you need to be able to identify all of these components is so that you know which one is going badly, all right, to sum it up, okay? We, we get in this habit of, oh, it's good or oh, it's bad. And we just kind of think and talk in general terms and we don't really get any better. There's no progress with that, okay? You have to be able to say, well, okay, is it the decisiveness? Have I not really decided what I'm doing? Have I not set any goals, okay? Is it that I just don't know the pitch? Am I not hearing it? Am I not able to hear this note, you know, like in the Dvorak and the Hemoresque, hearing this D up to the C? Maybe I just haven't intoned it in my brain yet. Maybe I'm not playing it rhythmically, okay? Maybe I'm not making one smooth motion that I, I hear the pitch, right? And, but that I go up and I make kind of this herky-jerky motion. I'm not able to land on the note correctly. Could be any of those things. Um, and yes, they do all overlap. They're all intertwined. Could be more than one. What I will tell you is that the more you do it, the more you try to analyze your shifting, your playing in general in this way, and try to identify which one exactly is going wrong, the better you will get at it. The more you do it, the better you will get at it, the more accurate and efficient you will come, become at identifying which one it is and then being able to fix it immediately. All right? But until you get to this point okay, of understanding these different parts, being able to pick them out and say, you know, it's not rhythmical, or I'm not making one smooth motion, or I haven't really decided where I'm going, all right? or I'm not really hearing this pitch correctly. All right? Only then we really start to make some progress in the quick, <laughs> efficient way, all right, that you are after, all right? So please check out those other two videos. Oh, yeah, and I promised you a resource. So what I've done here for this Dvorak Hemoresque is I've taken one of the takes from the practice video, video number three, and posted a short video on TikTok. TikTok is awesome because any music technology, any app or anything that uh, helps us learn, has a good looping feature. Well, looping is built right into TikTok. You don't have to do anything extra. There's nothing extra to download. There's no buttons to press. It just keeps on looping. So, the few measures before and the big shift in the Hemoresque, I've posted it there. You can play along to it, uh, practice it, and it'll just keep on playing for you. All right, really great resource for you. I'll put the link down to that in the description. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you got something out of it, if you just simply enjoyed it, Hit the like button below and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like to see on this channel. Thanks again and we'll see you in the next one.